Amen. Well, Father, we release our faith right now in Jesus' name that as these people hear, they receive. And we thank You in Jesus' name. Amen. We've been teaching a series on how to receive all things. Uh, Ma uh, Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. And it says, All things... All things mean all things. We went over that the last video, so look at that. And uh, whatsoever you ask, we went over the ask part in prayer. Believing, we went over the believing part. So this, this segment we're going to go over, receive. And I was talking to a lady just uh, the other day at Walmart. And uh, I showed her she wanted me to pray for something. She was wanting to receive something from God. And I went over these what the Bible says. And when we got done, she didn't receive it. She says, well, how do you know she didn't receive it? I'll tell you how I know. She said, as soon as I get it, I'm going to let you know. Well, I knew right then she didn't receive it. Because you don't receive when you get it. You have to receive before you can see it, wear it, drive it. Anything to do with your five senses. That's how you receive. Because faith even says, faith don't go by what you see, hear, taste, wear, drive, anything. You have to go by. So whose responsibility is it to receive? It's yours. See, people's waiting on God to do something that He's already given. He's already given us the tools to do it. To do what? To receive from Him. This is His idea. I was talking to one guy. He said, I almost talked God into giving it to me. And I said, no, 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 no. It, it, God has already decided you have it. You're the one that's got to talk yourself into receiving. Okay, so receive just means take. If you look it up in the Webster's Dictionary, the word receive is the same word as take. The root word is take. So how do you take from God? Or how do you receive from from God. Now we've been taught, however how old you are, you've probably been taught even this morning in whatever church you're going to, you're supposed to wait. The word wait's not in there. You know, I can't find the word wait in the New Testament. And even in the Old Testament, the word wait does not mean sit around twiddle your thumbs. No, it means the word wait, and even the Old Testament means like a waiter comes to your table. He's waiting on you. What do you want? And you have to tell him. So you're not waiting on the waiter. No, the waiter's waiting on you to say what you're going to take. What you, what you, and you, then you have to believe that what he, that you, what you say is what he wrote down. He's going to come back with that. Well, when did he get your order? When you said it. Same way with God. When did you get your order? When you said it. So if you're waiting on God to show up, like the waiter to show up, without you doing your order, guess what? It's not going to show up. Hello? It's not going to show up. So what do you have to do? It's your responsibility to receive. You receive not when you get it, not when you can see it, wear it, drive it, smell it, participate with it in any of your five senses, no, you receive the second that you say the Scripture. Before you can even feel it in your body. I mean, you got, might have got a negative report. That don't mean anything. If the report gets worse, that don't mean anything. The only thing that means anything is this right here. The Word of God. But you're the one that has to work the Word of God. God uh, doesn't need to build His faith up and work the Word of God. No, we have to do that. It's, already, it's His original intent that you have already, he's already, he's already given. Now we have to take or receive what he's already given. And the way we do that is we do it with our mouth. I mean, the five senses may be going crazy. Our mind may be going crazy. Our finances, like one guy said, finances, what's that? <laughs> he said, I ain't seen no money. I can't remember the last time I seen any money. Or, you know, he might be, it doesn't matter if you have a cold, a sore on your face, or full-blown whatever it is, stage four, whatever it is, that you're supposed to be dead. That means nothing, because you're going by the Word of God. See, it's like Psalms 118, verse 17. It says, you live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Well, when do you quit saying that? You don't if you want to live. 
<laughs> and then don't get deceived because the, de the devil be trying to say, well, you've lived long enough. You need to do something else. So receive that today and be blessed today in Jesus' name.